It's crazy how uh, it seemed, we were we were searching for a place to shoot and we couldn't really figure out where we were gonna do the live video for the first episode and then we arrive at Hans Balls in Waterloo and the situation was just beautiful. And then another crazy coincidence, um, Mr. K at the Waterloo University Station, he loves my work and he was interviewing Biff Naked so he thought, two Winnipeggers, why don't we get them together? So I got to meet and interview Biff Naked. I, I thought that that was just the coolest. We went to uh, Zach's place in Guelph. I played there last time I was on tour in the fall and uh, he, he's a riot. He's a really funny guy. Him and Tina are great people and they, they put together a little evening for, for us and their friends. A lot of deep conversations. And then we, we left for Peterborough. And I'd never met Isaac before, but he invited us into his home. He had a nice cold beer for us. And uh, he invited all of his friends and family and co-workers to come to a little barbecue. And his lovely mother was there, and she's a... <laughs> she, she's very enthusiastic in the crowd, although she likes to clap off beat. But she's, <laughs> she's a wonderful time. <laughs> the, the audience was really rowdy for how show is. Isaac's a paramedic, so his friends that were on duty stopped by, and I thought, let's play a nasty trick on my mom and my girl. We sent them a picture of, of me in the back of an ambulance. She's gonna kill me. And I found out that the only thing louder than an accordion is a drunk guy. <laughs> we, we had so much fun in Peterborough. I, got, I rode a skateboard for the first time, and I also fell off of a skateboard for the first time. <laughs> and then we went to Coburg, and we went with one of my friends, Diane. Last time I was in these parts, she drove two hours each way to see me. So this time I took the show to her place instead, and she's a, she's a great fan, and, I really, uh, and, and now a, a really good friend. We went to the pet store, we got a couple goldfish because we were missing our pets back home. Every tour needs a mascot. We got to show them Toronto, the Trinity Bellwoods Park, where Dropout Entertainment was having their little shindig. I first met Jesse from Prairials when, uh, when he was touring through in Winnipeg, and you know, it's you just make these connections with Draft, Binge Ninja, and Prairials. Oh, and and mess with some pedestrians, too, when you get a chance to at a show like that. From there, we, uh, we went to Jesse and Shannon's place for, for a little party and a barbecue, sang some songs, and I gave my first tattoo. <laughs> you know, just crossing things off my bucket list. Woo! <laughs>